Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another deck highlight. Today it's going to be going over everyone's favorite deck that's currently destroying the meta in Living Tribunal. So, if you are around the snap uh, meta that's being developed right now, everyone would say that it's actually Mr. Negative that is the best deck in the game, in which Mr. Negative is certainly a very strong deck, the Surfer Negative that's going around. However, I do think this big man here has some merit and has a lot more counterplay into its bad matchups and it has good counterplay into Mr. Negative where it can actually be better and in my opinion I think it is the better of the two decks. So my thought process here is uh, this deck runs armor that's not specifically into Mr. Negative but it's good counterplay into death and destroy decks that are currently everywhere right now so you have good counterplay there you also have cosmo to do the same thing cosmo however is also good hate into mr negative you can hit the wong lane to turn off their wong and basically shut down the entire lane because that also means they can't wolf spain there we are also running rogue rogue can hit null rogue can hit wong rogue can hit mystique rogue can hit iron man it can hit a lot of cards in the Mr. Negative deck. It's not a traditional ongoing card, but considering that the only thing that this deck needs to function in order to win is Iron Man Onslaught Living Tribunal, we have the liberty to play out a lot of tech cards to protect ourselves. Uh, another way that we just personally protect ourselves is with Invisible Woman. It makes it so if they have Enchantress, they cannot Enchantress our cards because they have to hit the Invisible Woman first. This would also then protect it from Shang-Chi, same as armor, because Living Tribunal is now a 9, so he is Shangable. Uh, we have magic in order to allow us to play two 6 drops, which let us play the Onslaught Living Tribunal out. And then we have Omega Red as a pseudo backup plan to Living Tribunal. Doesn't do exactly the same thing, but when you pair it with something like a Professor X, it does typically just enough to get the job done. You also have Claw to do something similar, but typically slightly better. And then finally is once again Super Scroll. This just adds to the hate of other decks. It once again hits Null very strong and it hits all the ongoing shenanigans of Mr. Negative. Like you can get double Iron Mans and then blow up the board. So uh, this deck has a lot of potential as you will see in the gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a like. Let me know in the comments and subscribe to let me know that you guys are enjoying these style of videos. So I thought I would change it up for this one since I was giving this deck pretty high praise. I thought that I would showcase it in a gold conquest. This is actually game three of my gold conquest. So this is the highest level of um, competition that you can get right now. So, I know you have no way of believing me that it's a gold 3 conquest, but it is. I have no really reason to lie about that. Um, we have a pretty good setup. My biggest concern right now is that this might be the Legion Lockdown deck, or it could just be High Evolutionary. So, something to figure out. Um, I don't think this deck, if it's the High Evolutionary or the Lockdown deck, it's High Evolutionary deck, um, could be both, I suppose. I don't think it runs any ongoing, so we can scroll into Altar of Death, but I don't really think that does anything for us. I think what makes more sense is... Possibly to Professor X Altar of Death, but we don't really, really, eh. we don't even really need to do that. This is just free one power. Playing for these two lanes. Uh, actually, I think we're playing for this lane. Yeah, we want to play for Mojo World, and then. Hopefully that'll spread into Altar of Death. 
Aw, oh, what a sweetheart. Blue Cage. What an absolute doll. So... I think we snap, because we're going to be 17 power. Doubled is 34. So it's going to be 11s. Uh, 12s. No. 39. 13s across the board. God, math is difficult. But we're in Altar of Death? Um... Yeah, it might be a little aggressive. Might make him retreat, which is honestly fine. And the thing is, if he doesn't fill Mojo World, then we're going to be at a lot of stats across the board. So we're also forcing him into not necessarily playing how he would like to play. Like, he can't play Hulk out, realistically. I mean, don't get me wrong. He can play Hulk out. But he's in an awkward scenario if he hulks here, or all, uh, if he hulks at all, he's kind of he loses. Yeah, like I said, he couldn't hulk. Mm. Okay, little aggressive, little overzealous on my end. He simply didn't pull hulk. We also know that we probably won't get that lucky with the uh, Luke Cage again. He has really no reason to play Luke Cage out. But that should not be an issue. We can just play behind Invisible Woman and then we'll be safe. So we also don't have to worry about Enchantress, which is always good. Okay. Hmm. How do I feel about these cards? I think we want to play for middle and right. I think the goal is to get the Professor X right. And then claw into it, ideally. Elysium? Well, then we're going to try and get a Professor X next turn. That is unfortunate that we did not have priority there. Try and Professor X Elysium. Try and get that. Oh, these are ongoing. It's not real. Unreal. Okay. We have Claw Onslaught. If we have to. do Onslaught, then Claw Rogue, because Order doesn't really, just energy efficiency, make sure we play out all of our cards. And that'll give us 12, right? All systems go. Seven, ten. Can't. 13, 15. Yeah, we cannot win, right? Oh, wait. This is minus 3, 14. 10, 16? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ten, sixteen. This is, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wins us left. Does this deck run Jeff? Let's go! Oh, they didn't have a card in hand. I was gonna win off the fact that they couldn't play. Well, either way. Rogue Luke Cage. Very good. I don't know why he snaps there. Like, it seems kind of aggressive, but it is what it is. Also, apologies if I'm not talking a lot. Living Tribunal makes me do way too much math. Oh, uh, we have magic, which is good, obviously. Good for us. We have to have magic in order to play our combo. The issue is um, the lack of the rest of the cards that we would then need. Tentatively, this is looking like a retreat. So... Just something to keep in mind. Uh, yeah. Looking a lot <laughs> like a retreat. Uh, I mean, we're gonna play it out until he snaps, but... It is not looking great. Um... I'm trying to think if I want to scroll. I can invisible, I think it's better to invisible woman, and then I can see how the game is going. Because in theory I could top deck everything I need, which is possible, simply unlikely. Yeah, <laughs> and we didn't order, which is unfortunate. I mean, that into like an Iron Man Onslaught might be enough power to win the game. I just don't love it. <laughs> Speak of the devil. I want to play Onslaught because I'm definitely playing Onslaught no matter what, so... Oh, he hit Hulk with that. No, he didn't. He hit Misty. I don't know what he hit. He hit one of those two cards, a shocker. Um, so this is three, six. Three, six, 13, 52, middle. 13. Yeah. Um. I don't think it's worth saying, and right now I believe this is the last round before high stakes, so this was a free retreat for me, essentially. Um. I mean, if we would have had the tribunal, if we would have, like, we were one card off curve, and by that I mean we just pulled Iron Man Onslaught wrong order. If we would have hit the curve, um, I think we could have won that. I'm fairly confident, actually, we could have won that. Oh, I was wrong about that. This is the last round before high stakes. They don't run Shang. They aren't running any hate cards, actually. Um, I don't want to armor that because I can get in there. He can't. I don't think he can get in at all, actually. I can armor on six. Yeah, that could be a play later. Okay. 
Just play rogue for tempo. Might scroll there as well. We could Professor X middle? Wait, hold on. This gives me the energy to play Tribunal. So I'm gonna do that. I don't think we technically play a card. So that means we won't get the rocks to screw up our um, our deck, our draws. Okay, scroll just gained value. Good, good, good. But the thing is, if I just play everything into Lechagilla, I don't care. So I'm pretty sure I snap here because I have Living Tribunal and the Iron Man and then worst case scenario I can armor right and then super scroll wherever I want left I guess. Um, and that's a bad scenario. Like I can always onslaught. Okay. I can always on I can always pull onslaught which is just good. Our opponent thinks he has a really good hand, I guess. Like I said, we can always pull Onslaught. And this would be... 11... 18... 36... 72... 81... Okay, let's change those numbers. 15. Times 4. So, 69. Nice. Which is 23 across the board. So, does this deck... run a nine power play yeah it runs abomination though um but we're gonna be up 23 here and they won't be up 23 there yes sir unless i did math brutally wrong which would be tragically unfortunate if i did my math wrong please tell me i know how to do basic multiplication I am. for the love of all things only if i did basic math wrong, i'm gonna cry Let's go. Victory. And this was even a pretty bad matchup for me, considering that he could like destroy my numbers, right? Like I lost out on 16 power, which I mean, that would have straight up won me this side and it would have been close on this side. It would have been Five. I, it would have won. It would have tied me over here. So like, it was a tough matchup for sure. We were able to pull through anyway. Like, and this is a pretty popular deck, and it's still a decent deck. Like, High Evolutionary isn't bad by any means. So I don't know. I feel like this is some pretty convincing stuff. Oh, and this can uh, prove that it was a gold game three that I was playing. So, got my first infinite ticket of the season, four days before infinite comes out. If you guys enjoy this style of video more, where I'm doing it in conquest instead of just in public, like the quick play to get better opponents, let me know as well. If you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. Uh, please consider subscribing and leaving a like and commenting letting me know ideas you have for the deck or anything else for that matter. But I will see you guys in the next video.